Oh man, it's the grab bag. All right, I'm in the boring room today, and it's extra bright out, so you can see how horrible I look. I just finished watching Ultraman Rising on Netflix, a new Ultraman film that just came out on Netflix, and it is all right. I would just put it at all right. One, I hate the style of CG. Like, the animation, all that, it, I, I can't stand it. I don't know why so many animation studios are doing this style, and I don't know why they decided to do this with Ultraman. Overall, the music was fine. The plot was pretty predictable. I mean, I saw it literally a mile away that there was going to be that big final battle. Uh, I don't want to get into the spoilers just yet, but the majority of the film is exactly what you saw in the trailers. Ultraman trying to raise a kaiju baby. That is literally most of this film. And the bad guys of the film are humans. And here's where I'm going to start getting into some spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, you can go watch it. I would probably put it at like a 7 at best, maybe a 6.5 out of 10. It was okay. So, it's not something you should rush out unless you're like a giant kaiju fan. So, the film's bad guys are the KDF, the Defense Force, which I don't know why it's K. Wouldn't it be the Japanese Defense Force? But anyways, they are trying to find where the kaiju island is yes they call it kaiju island because they can't call it monster island or monster land because those are godzilla franchise names so kaiju island is where the kaijus keep coming from and attacking you know the world and this is the son of the original ultraman is the hero of the film and he is a baseball player ken sato and the film starts with him being arrogant and slowly becoming less arrogant throughout the film as he learns to take care of a giant kaiju baby. Because early on in the film, he gets into a fight with a giant dragon-like kaiju, and the KDF helps kill it. And they find this egg, and he takes the egg, and it hatches, and he raises this baby kaiju. And the KDF are still trying to find this baby kaiju because they want to use the baby kaiju to get to Kaiju Island. And the final battle is they made a mecha giganto, whatever they call the giant dragon. I'm just going to call it giganta. Um, the dragon gets mechanized, brought back to life, and they're using it to get the baby to follow and lead them to this island. Well, Ultraman comes in, and Ultraman's dad comes in, and they basically reawaken the dragon inside the mech, and then the KDF giant uh, stealth bomber transforms into a giant robot, which was kind of predictable when I saw it, and he was having everybody eject. I'm like, oh, it's going to transform into a robot. That's what happened. So there was a big fight at the end, and in the end... You know, he blows himself up, and Ken Sato Ultraman protects everybody. Overall, it was an okay film. I mean, it's not groundbreaking, and it's not incredible. It's kind of mid. But it's not a bad mid. It's a good mid. But it's mid.